Hello everyone, um, I just was inspired to make this video because um, I was listening to a conversation on uh, Tough Talk TV and I love the fact that they've gotten that uh, channel together. Um, I think there's you know a lot of great content on that channel and, um, and I've been blessed by it. But um, listening to it today, one of the sisters on it referred to um, uh, women uh, uh, creating, being able to create communities on their own. Uh, being able to do community work and this kind of thing, and be, effectively being able to live without men, you know, you know, that's the, you know, that was the sort of nature of what uh, of what she was saying, basically. So, you know, just this whole thing about um, uh, women being able to exist on their own in groups of women and men not being able to do that, you know, as if somehow um, uh, women being able to exist on their own without men is actually a good thing anyway. Right. You know, I suppose that's the first thing that springs to mind. But a bigger thing is this for me, you know, when women talk about doing community work, right, or having community, I'll be honest, I find that a joke. It's a joke for a lot of different reasons. What community work are they going to do and who's in that community? Is it just a community of women? <laughs> Community work, outside in what community? With who? Because there's men outside in that community. There's men out there. There's men outside in that community, you know. Um, another strange thing for me, right? So when so you so what so what have you got? You got a group of women, right? Um, existing together. All right, doing what what was mentioned in that on you know on in that, on that particular show was things like doing cookouts and th you know having getting together and doing things to go and all that kind of thing. But what struck me was who's there? What are there children there? So what? There's just children and women there. Who else is there? Okay, so let's just assume there's children and women there. Where are the men? And where did they? Where did these? Where did this community of women get the sperm from to create those children? You see? So this, for me, that was very, very, those comments were very, very uh, disingenuous. But just pulling it away from, uh, from, from that conversation for a minute. You see, at the end of the day, even though um, that was possibly a short-sighted, you know, cited uh, a, 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 a statement or whatever, I want to talk to the men for a moment. You see, guys, the only way women can create these all-women communities is if they get sperm from men, right? Get sperm from men to create children to exist in these types of all-female communities where there's just a bunch of women and children and no men. It takes sperm. And, the, you know, all truth be told, the only place certain women can get sperm from that are more interested in career, more too busy to be, or don't want to be married, don't want to don't wanna be, don't want to submit to men in marriage, right? The only place they, they can get sperm from is not from a purpose-driven guy, not from a king, no way. It's only from what Americans like to call pookies and ray rays. That's the only place. Those are the only types of guys that do not value their sperm, that will give their sperm up for nothing. <laughs> so these women can basically have all women communities and kids and no men. Because the types of men that, that value their sperm that have a purpose, that have a vision, will not simply give their sperm to just any old woman. They will only give their sperm in marriage to a woman who wants to stay married for life and then create a proper community where there's male headship, women and children and grandparents and friends and extended family. That is what it's really all about. Women that want to create all women communities and just a few kids running around, do not give those types of women your sperm. They will only 
uh, the only place they can get sperm from is from pookies and ray rays and that kind of thing. And then what they will do is look back and blame men for their choices. You know, that's the truth. That is the truth. So this whole thing about um, women being the backbone of community, that's a load of nonsense. The women we're talking about here are the women that basically have gotten their sperm, as I said before, from the wrong types of guys. From the guys that basically are happy just to dish out their sperm to any female for nothing. You know, the types of women who basically are not wives. They want kids, they just don't want to be wives. That's what it's really all about. You know, you know, that's, you know, you know so that's what's really going on here. So for a minute, I do want to talk to uh, um, I do want to talk to um, the guys that Americans sometimes call pookies and ray rays. And what I want to say is, I just want to encourage you guys as well to just not give your sperm, you know, to just any old woman. You know, raise your aspect, you know, your aspirations higher than that. And I fully understand that um, you know your social circumstance, where you've come from, may have been less than perfect. I, I get that. I really do. But you don't have to remain, your mindset does not have to remain where it was. It doesn't have to. And there's going to be a lot of women around you that are going to tell you, you ain't, you ain't S-H-I-T, you're not this, you're not that. Try to ignore those women and try to value yourself, value your sperm and don't just give it to any woman because she says your sperm's not worth anything. Put a price on your sperm. And the price is submission in marriage. Let that be the price. And tell her as well. Tell her, tell her that. Not just getting married, staying married. And learn to identify women who want to stay in it. You know, the statistics in, 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 the, uh, in the Western world and in America is that women break their own homes in, in, in massive numbers, way bigger than men decide to walk out. Regardless of whatever the rhetoric is coming from the modern woman. No, ignore it. Look at the statistics and always basically preach that, you know. Pre just, just, just say the truth. Say, say, well, these are the actual facts. Women walk out in from marriage way more than men. Way more than men, Right? So if we're talking about broken homes, broken communities, right, communities of women, it's because the women have made the decision to, be, to have these types of communities. Women have made their choice in that area. But we don't have to give them sperm to create children to exist in that. That's just a massive disservice to children. And we don't have to play into that. But what it does mean is that we have to vet vet and vet again the women who we choose to marry okay so hopefully i've been clear so it's just you know i just wanted just to say that because i think it needs saying this whole thing about women being the backbone of community this whole thing about or is it's first of all that's a load of nonsense women cannot be the backbone of a community men are the backbone of any community that goes anywhere Anywhere else on planet Earth, it's the men who are the backbone of a community. It's the men that are the builders, right? It's the husbands that are the builders, okay? And it's the husbands that cover the wives and the children, you know? Women can cover themselves. It takes husbands to cover women and children. You know, because at the end of the day, what a lot of women do, when the boys get big and they can't handle them, what, what, do, what do most women do? Most women throw them out, throw them out anyway, right? And then they try and ask the, the dad who they kicked out years ago to go and deal with the son. Trust me, I know, right? So let's just get all that straight. Let's get all of that straight. All women communities, all of that is foolishness. Nonsense, nonsense, all right? Nonsense. And, um, you know, it's interesting. I was listening to the investigator, great um, set of um, uh, talks that he does literally week in, week out. 
that's the investigator based in the UK. And there was a, a the, you know, there was, I can't remember what her name is, but there's a woman on it today. Um, she said one statement that I really agree with. She said that staying married, I'm paraphrasing her, but she said that staying married, creating solid families, solid families is a revolutionary act. And the funny thing is, the only other person I heard say that is Kevin Samuels. If anybody wants to, um, uh, if anybody's conscious, anything like that, stay married. <laughs> that is the, that, that's probably the biggest revolutionary act that anybody could uh, do. St choose well, right, first of all. Men, choose the right woman, right, and then uh, that's a woman who wants to stay married and then stay married. That is a revolutionary act right there.